to this Bonitas camp. Let's finish our series with the last chapter about deployment. I remind you that you can see the whole camp series on our YouTube channel and get the Bonita camp exercises and resources from GitHub so you can train on your own. Let's come back to the project lifecycle. You are done with all the other steps and your project is now ready to go to production or at least to be deployed on a development server. There are two types of application deployments. For testing purpose, the deployment is done from Bonita Studio in a local environment. To deploy your application in the development or production environment, the deployment is done from the Bonita Administrator application. Let's start with the deployment from Bonita Studio. All the resources are available from Bonita Studio in a local environment, even if you are cloned your project from Git. The application descriptor is used to structure, deploy and test the application by defining the pages, structure the menus, the layout and theme. Clicking on the URL displayed in the application descriptor allows you to test your application directly from any browser. To deploy the application on a server, it is important to respect the order in the artifacts deployment. In the Bonita Administrator application, organization and then profiles are first imported. The next deployment step, REST API extensions must be deployed before any page or form resource using it is deployed. A page that uses REST API extensions must add the required resources in the page resource page.properties file. Finally, you are going to install the layout and themes. Then, business data is installed before importing and activating processes. To deploy your process, you have to follow the steps you can see here. In Bonita Studio, the process is configured with the actor mapping, the parameters, etc. Then, a .bar file is generated by clicking on server build. Then the bar file is deployed in the process menu of the Bonita administrator application and after configuring the process there you can activate it. The last step of your application deployment is the definition of the application. You can import the application descriptor that has been previously exported from Bonita Studio or build a new application directly from Bonita Administrator application. And that's it! Your application is up and running. You are now ready to build and run your own first project. And of course, if needed, you can practice with the exercises available in our repository GitHub or you can try another project by following the Getting Started tutorial, which is in our Bonitas of Documentation. Thank you and enjoy your practice with Bonita. <laughs>